Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Justin. In today's video, I'll be showing you how the cruise control works in this car. Almost all the new cars uh, do have this feature and in today's video, I'll be showing you how to use it. What are the pros and cons? Uh, this feature is especially helpful when you are going for a long journey and uh, comes in really handy. Uh, so in today's video, I'll be showing you the good part and the bad part of uh, cruise control. So without further ado, let's start. Alright friends, let me just first tell you how exactly the cruise control feature works. Uh, it basically imitates the way human drivers drive but the only difference being instead of pressing the accelerator manually by a human, it uses an actuator to control the throttle and helps your car continue cruising at the same speed that is set by you. Uh, talking about the advantages, it gives you a good mileage on your car. Uh, it gives you a better driving comfort and it avoids over speeding. Uh, the disadvantages being it is bad for the tired drivers because they might fall asleep while driving. Uh, it's uh, harder to slow down quickly when the cruise is uh, employed. Uh, third being a driver can be easily distracted because he might not be paying that much of an attention on the road while the cruise is employed. So you need to be very careful with that. So without further ado, let me just go ahead and start you how exactly the cruise feature works and uh, I'll show you how to employ it as well. Alright friends, right now I am uh, driving to a highway so that I can give you a demonstration of how exactly to employ the cruise in the car. Uh, but before that, there are some prerequisites which you should know uh, how the cruise works. So the minimum speed for the cruise to engage is 30 km per hour. Uh, that is just for this car I am saying, it may vary from a car to car. So right now if you see uh, at 28 and 29, if I try to uh, press this button to employ cruise, it won't happen. Uh, the cruise won't be enabled until and unless it crosses 30 km per hour. So now if you see, at 31 the cruise is enabled. So what it does is it will automatically try to adjust the speed at 31, at uh, around 31 km per hour. Uh, and uh, whether if it's a slope, if you see right now there's a slope coming up. So even if there's a slope it will automatically uh, you know go ahead and take up the speed and uh, it will adjust its speed close to 31 km per hour all the time even if it's a slope or a climbing as well so let's go to 45 km per hour this time and i'll uh, employ the cruise yeah so now i will try to employ the cruise using this button here if you can see i have started the cruise at 45 km per hour so now what this car will do is it will try to go ahead and maintain the speed of 45 km per hour it may not exactly be 45 uh, you know due to the uh, slope and steep uh, climbing or downhill but it will be somewhere close to 45 itself uh, 45 or 46 so if you want to increase the cruise speed that also you can do let's say i have done it for 46 now i'm doing it 47 now i'll do it for 48 so you can increase the cruise speed which you have set using this button arrow keys which are given for the cruise so now if you see i have set it for 50 km per hour and the car will continue going uh, for 50 km per hour at the speed of 50 km per hour as you can see uh, my legs are not on the accelerator so it is automatically uh, you know uh, maintaining the speed of this car at 50 so this is a very good feature uh, when you are going for a long drive or you know you have been driving for a very long time and you want to take a rest for some time at the same time you know since the speed is constant that you are maintaining uh, your mileage or i should say fuel economy of the car also uh, increases a lot so that is a really good feature of uh, cruise control but at the same time uh, using this uh, at the time when you are tired or uh, you know using this when you feel sleepy might be uh, the bad side of it because you might not be paying attention on the road and uh, you know it might result in uh, some mishappenings 
so that is one thing that the driver should be very careful about uh, when you are employing a cruise you should have your full uh, eyes on the road and you should be very very attentive and careful just like how you do it when you are driving manually so currently we are cruising at 51 km per hour if you can see right now uh, the car is going at on its own and i am not employing any acceleration by uh, from my side uh, if you can see my legs are not on the accelerator but it is continuing its speed at 51 km per hour all right friends right now we are cruising at 51 km per hour these are the controls which uh, are mainly used while cruising uh, by using this you can toggle between the information which is displayed on the screen and uh, by using this you can increase the speed or decrease the speed of the cruise uh, which you have set uh, initially as you can see right now i have increased it to 53 so now the car will be maintaining a constant speed of 53 a pretty useful feature when uh, you know you are actually uh, driving for too long and uh, you feel like you know you can take uh, your legs off for some time just to give it some rest okay so now my verdict on this uh, friends i personally love this feature uh, which is there in this car i have been using this uh like whenever i go for any long journey and on highways uh, especially whenever i get a chance i uh, do use this uh, cruise feature uh, and it is really a good to have feature in the car uh, but again having said that you need to be very careful while you are using this feature so friends that's all about the cruise feature uh, in the car and uh, for those who are visiting my channel uh, and watching my video for the first time please do subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that you are always updated about uh, the new videos coming up uh, thank you if you like this video please hit the like button